Where it gets difficult is, a, 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 I think, a growing grey area. Working relationship between those, all those agencies and coming up with something which is a convincing, um, well-researched and adequate document. Yeah. So you'd see me perhaps put, helping put the framework together and then you actually fill in the gaps in it there from your side. But at the same time, I can't uh, frustrate you in not being able to put forward some of your political mm. views. Well, I don't think you would. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking officers again, right? They haven't done what we asked them to do. It doesn't matter whether it's right or wrong. They should get you to a meeting, right? And you get to your next meeting. Sure. You get to your... So, so tell them to go away and look at it again. Hi, one of the things that sort of... Um, it indelibly imprinted on my m on my heart, really, um, and I, I, you might not have said it, but I think you did. Which was exactly, which was Mike saying to me that um, we had to work very very closely together, and that um, I would need to know what he was thinking before he thought it, mm -hmm. and uh, which left me in a state of kind of. Ooh. <laughs> Well, it, I, it's a bit of a tension uh, in, in, in the relationship. Perhaps in a minute we might come to talk about the party politics of this, because I, I do see that as being a delicate matter. Uh, you see, and that's that, why it's that's so important exploring. to have this very, very regular and intimate and informal contact. You can't pick that up if you just have a series of formal mm. meetings about particular issues. So it's this is to the Housing Department, the Budget Committee, and he said, oh, I can't conceivably do what it says here without twice as many staff. Mm. Having that afternoon told me that he could. Mm. Now, that is irritating beyond all measure. Do you know where the roots of that mistake came from? I mean, how... how I think how... he just didn't... I think perhaps he might have misheard an opposition question, mm. but he should be on the ball to opposition I mean, questions. was he aware, having said it, that he'd put his foot He in? was afterwards. So it's not as if we're actually making the decision. We're arguing the case. Yeah. Which, at the end of the day, is what you're doing as well. Yeah. So... Except that, ultimately, I'm, I'm answerable to you, and you're yes. answerable to the, to the local people through yeah. their votes. Well, if they yeah. don't like it, then they can vote you out, but they yes. can never vote me out. <laughs> you can sack me. Yes. We are in a very dynamic situation now, aren't we? So close to breaking through, being in the in the lower um, levels of performance. We know that local people are beginning to say how much Warsaw has improved. I, I'm I'm quite confident now that as we speak very frankly to each other and very openly and therefore we do disagree and when we disagree there has to be someone who makes the decision um, and that's worked out no no pet licks afterwards i think that's, no, that's important. It. i mean you know, we, we i mean, yes. I mean we, you we, know, we you frankly talk and you may disagree the decisions take you get on with the business hmm. you know i mean the partnership is too important what we're trying to achieve is far too important to get little things like that in the way but the personal relationships wouldn't allow it anyway. So wouldn't how you me. build it up over you know, a period of time. Give an example, he's a Sunderland supporter. <laughs> I'm a Newcastle supporter. <laughs> Can you believe it? And we're friends. I mean, that, that yeah. more or less explains yeah. everything. Yeah. And every, every Monday morning, if Newcastle's won, he gets some stick. You yeah. know, if Sunderland have won, well, I don't go in until 11 o'clock. But, I mean, that's yeah. the sort of relationship. For, we fortunately, we see eye to eye on the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> And the difference between Roger and I is that he's got slightly more security of tenure than I have. <laughs> um, there's, there's been less of a culture in Suffolk than I'm used to of messages going between senior officers and senior members. Um, and so, to some degree... Are you sure that's the case? Or, or, I mean, are you sure you see that? It's mostly about officers telling members what they're up to. Uh, you know, you get up to go over the parapet and uh, she is behind you or sometimes even in front of you. That's really good. Uh, she's not there if she says she's not going to be there. So she's sort of reliable in that way as well. I suppose. What I, I suppose. absolutely know about the relationship between a chief officer and a chair, or certainly me and any chief officer I might have, is if I didn't like them personally, I would have a great deal of trouble working with them. Tactic that we actually have got reasonably complementary um, personalities and approaches to things. I tell Mark what to do and he does it. That works. <laughs> <laughs> the decision about the, the, the actual strategic objective or the vision that you're heading for 
is, isn't an officer's, and it, but it, it isn't the it isn't the preserve of a single councillor or a single yeah. councillor group. Generally speaking, it's about something as some sort of shared consensus, and so I think the role of a good management team is to tease that out. Yeah. We see wow. the, when you're experimenting with something, you, you don't actually know where the boundary is until you've knocked it. I just remember saying there's a little bit of Darabin in all of us. Mm. Oh, whatever you told me oh, to do, I just did. I don't think so. This individual said, could I have your name again? Uh, and I said, uh, Councillor Thornber, leader of the council. And she said, what is a leader?